Hello everyone, welcome to web design tutorials in Mockit. I'm David from Wondershare Market. In today's episode, we're going to redesign the Starbucks website. And uh, before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you'll never miss out on our design tutorials. Here in my space, I'm going to create a new prototype. And since uh, this is just going to be like a landing page, two landing pages, I'm going to go ahead and choose 1920 by 1080 pixels and I'm just going to hit create. So we're going to start with creating our master header. But before we move on to that, I'm going to just change the screen name from screen two to the menu because we're going to have two pages, home and menu. So now I'm actually going to start adding my header. So I'm going to start with adding a logo. So I'm just going to grab this image widget. I'm going to click and drag to set up my image widget. And then I'm just going to upload my image from my computer. So next up, I'm going to grab the text widget and I'm just going to click and type in Starbucks. And once we got that in, all we have to do now is to simply change the font. So we have to like, you know, choose the font from the list. We have to, you know, change uh, the, the weight uh, if we want to. I think I'm going to go with like black. Also, never forget to align your elements. So I'm just going to grab both of these guys and then I'm just going to make sure that they are nicely aligned vertically to the center. And then we can simply maybe make a group out of these guys. So I'm just going to right click on them and choose group. And right now we have this group right here. So I'm just going to double click in here and I'm going to call it uh, logo just for organizational purposes. So now let's create the menu. First, I'm going to grab the rectangle tool to create a background for my menu. We can, of course, alter it uh, later. I don't want this guy to have a stroke. I only want it to have a fill. But of course, I'm going to change it to something like a Starbucks green, maybe something a bit darker. I guess this should be all right. But I don't want this background to be looking like that. I think it's a bit boring, honestly. So from the appearance panel in here, I got the radius option that's currently set to zero. What I want to do is I want to click on this uni radius option. And right now I can change the single radii. So for instance, I'm going to change the top left to say 10. And then I'm going to change the bottom left to 10 as well. So only the this top left and bottom left corners are a bit rounded. So now all we have to do is to just add some text links. So this part is almost done, but I would like to add like an icon before this find a store a link. So I'm just going to go to my icon tab and I'm going to look for, uh, let's see, like a map marker. And I'm just going to bring it over here. And while I'm here, I'm just going to maybe try to look for like a shopping bag or something like that. And uh, I think I'm going to go with this guy. So of course, both of these icons need to have proper colors. So I'm just going to turn them white. And uh, this guy is going to go somewhere up here. And uh, this guy is also going to be white, but this guy is going to go somewhere to the to the side. So I'm just going to move it to the right hand side of my menu somewhere here. And between both of these elements, we're going to create a search uh, box. We can always just play around with the, both of these elements. So we, maybe we can move them a bit to the side. And if we group them, then we can simply grab all of these elements again and make sure that they are nicely distributed. So between these two elements, so this find a store link and this uh, bag, what I want to do is I want to create like a search box. So I'm going to start with creating a simple rounded rectangle. So I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and I'm going to create a rectangle that is going to look more or less like this. And of course, it needs to be rounded. So I'm going to increase the radius value. And while I'm here in my icon widget, I'm going to search for well, search icon and I'm going to bring it over. I'm going to change its color to maybe like a light gray and put it over here. And then I'm just going to grab any of my links, copy it, copy and paste it put it somewhere here. And of course, I'm going to change its color. And of course, I'm going to type in something like search here. 
and maybe I'm going to change the size. So lastly, we can align everything nicely to the center. So now that when everything is complete, we can simply select everything. And I'm just going to group all of these elements. And I'm just going to call this um, something like a menu, for instance. There we go. And uh, the last two things that we need to do is to make sure that everything is nicely aligned. So I'm going to select both of these groups and align them to the center. And uh, when that is done, we can actually maybe select everything, group these guys as well by pressing Ctrl G. And now we can call this group something like a header. There we go. And now we can turn this header into a master header. So I'm simply going to right click on this uh, group and I'm going to choose create master. And uh, I'm going to call it master header. And once that's done, we can see our master header inside our master widget. Okay, so we got our master header created. So now let's move on to the left part of our design. So first I'm just going to add like this big bold heading. And you know, it can be anything you want. You know, it's just a matter of adding your text and then just um, making it look the way you want it to look. However, for the paragraph text that's going to go beneath this heading, I'm going to go to a site called Coffee Ipsum. And in uh, this uh, site, you can just grab some coffee related lorem ipsum and then you can just paste it in here so you don't have to use like, you know, that old lorem ipsum, but you can use this uh, more, I guess, appropriate kind of an ipsum. And uh, of course, now all we have to do is to just, you know, change the font, uh, change the font size and all those things. So now here at the bottom, let's add our image. So I'm just going to go to my resources and I'm going to drop in this image module like that. And of course, I'm going, going to find the, pro, the appropriate uh, image on my, on my computer. So once it's here, we can make it bigger, we can make it smaller. It's, you know, it's totally up to you. I'm going to leave it like that. So next, I'm going to type in the price of the coffee. And then I'm going to add a button. So first I'm just going to grab the rectangle module and I'm going to make it uh, green. Then we can add the text like buy now. Let's also round the corners of our button. And lastly, I'm just going to add like a simple, a simple icon here on the side. So now we can add our next image, which is going to be our first cup of coffee. And we also need to add a background to this uh, cup of coffee. So again, with the image module, I'm just going to find that right background. And I'm going to put it beneath my cup of coffee. So next, I'm just going to borrow this piece of text because right now I want to add the name of this coffee. So now I'm just going to borrow this piece right here and I'm going to add the name of the coffee. And then I'm just going to copy this guy one more time and I'm just going to type in something like add to order. And of course, we need to change the color, of course, the size and all those things. So once this is done, I think it's a good idea to group all of these elements. And I'm going to call it like flat rows. So now we can just grab this one, copy and paste it somewhere here to the side. And basically all we need right now is to just change the image. And then we just need to change the background and the name. So now I'm going to add my like a side cup of coffee. So again, I'm just going to first start with adding a, an image. And then we can add our last image right here, which is going to be our main 
main cup of coffee. So lastly, I'm just going to again borrow this piece of text and I'm going to type in something like new and maybe I'll just change uh, this font from black to something like bold and maybe I'm going to make it a bit smaller Then I'm going to paste that piece of text again and I'm going to type in the name of the coffee and then let's just add the add to order text and this part is basically complete now let's add some interactivity to our design so in the state panel I'm just going to add two new states and the first one is going to be our flat rows state and the other one is going to be our brown mix state so now I'm just going to copy everything and simply paste it back in right here and then the same goes for this guy right here so to add the interactivity I'm just going to double click on this cup and I'm going to connect this link to the flat rows state and inside this state what I want to do is I want to change this text and I want to change this image and the same goes for this brown mix guy so I'm going to link it with the brown mix state and I'm also going to change the text and within this state I also would like to link this guy right here with this flat rows state and within this state I also want to link this guy to the brown mix so now if we preview our design if we click on these elements you can see that we get this kind of interactivity but we also could um, link our menu link right here to actually our menu screen so to link uh, our menu to our menu screen all we need to do is to just double click on our uh, master header and then on this menu link and I'm just going to move this guy to the menu so if we now preview our page now if we click on the menu we're going to be moved to our menu screen which of course is empty but we can now simply go to our master and for instance bring back our header and now we can continue creating our design so I'm going to grab the rectangle and I'm just going to create a rectangle that is going to look more or less like this and it needs to have a proper background so now I'm just going to maybe borrow some of these elements and I'm going to paste them on this page and maybe I'm just going to get rid of some of this text and change this text and change the button and of course we can make these guys just a bit smaller so we get more room and now we can add our slider here at the right so now let's add our sliders so I'm gonna start with adding a rectangle that is going to look more or less like this and of course it needs to have a proper fill and I'm gonna add an image and maybe I'll just round the corners of this guy a little bit so next we need to add the text and then I'm just going to maybe borrow this paragraph but I'm just going to need one line of text and of course I'll make it white and then I'm just going to reuse this button so I'll copy it and I'm going to change its color of course it needs to be smaller and I'll borrow the text and also the arrow and I'll change the text and the text's color and now I'll just use this guy as my arrows and lastly we can align everything nicely to the center so now I'll just group all of these elements and we can copy and paste it just like that and of course right now we have to change the image change the text and change the background and of course change the size
and then we have to do it one more time. And now we can also add some interactivity to this page. So let's say that when we click on this arrow, we want this flat rose to be in the center. And we want to say on the right, we want to have something else like this caramel mix. And maybe this brown mix should go to the left. So again, I'm going to create a new state. I'm going to copy everything. And all we need to do right now is to just to exchange the images and the texts. And of course, we still need to connect these elements. So when we click on this arrow, I want to link it to our flat rows so we can quickly just test out this functionality. So if I click on the arrow, we are on our flat rows element. So now we can do basically the same thing. When we are on flat rows, I want to, let's say, click on this left um, arrow and go to caramel mix. So now if we preview our page, you can see that if we click on this arrow, we got our flat rows and on this arrow, we got our caramel mix. So we could uh, finish things up with uh, adding some animations and that's super easy. I'm going to select my flat row state and select the elements I want to animate. And then I'm going to go to the animation panel and choose one of the animations. And we can do the same for the brown mix state. So now if we preview our design, you can see that everything is being nicely animated. Okay, everyone, so thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to check out the description down below to try Mock It for free. And uh, also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And, uh, you know, you can leave your comment down below if you have an idea for another tutorial in this uh, series. So thanks again, and I hope to see you in the next episode.